Hi, I'm Liz. And I'm Charlie. And we're the Adventure Closet. And today, we're uh, riding yeah. a bike for the first time in Vietnam. So come along with us. <laughs> So at the gas stations here, you um, pull up and then somebody will fill it for you. You just take your cap off. How much was that? 65000 so 250 And we got a full tank. All right, let's go. Wow. <laughs> The lotus flowers bloom today. We're down the same road we were in the last episode going a little further now that we have wheels. Some sort of temple. We just stopped off here. I'm not sure what this is, but there's uh, stairs going up into this cave here. Yeah, there's maybe. It's a pretty bad looking machine. Yeah. This is beautiful. Interesting uh, with the cobras with the red lights in their mouths. This is what the stone structure of the cave looks like. <laughs> looks like there's some m slight marbling going on. Oh my god, 
gosh, get this sign up here. Ah. <laughs> Don't fall off the cliff. <laughs> Let's go. Wow. So Charlie just realized he needs to move money from his wallet uh, so that he doesn't have very much in his wallet because what happens here in Vietnam, what we learned is um, you can get pulled over and the police will want you to pay bribes. Um, so if you don't have a lot of money on you, then the bribe is only, um, somebody just passed. If you don't have a lot of money on you, then the bribe is pretty much what you have so um, I know it sounds silly but that's just the way it works here I'll just stick it in my other pocket here and another thing we should be doing is having a face mask because having a face mask it makes you look more like a local and uh, less apt to be pulled over also keeps dirt and bugs out of your hair there's yes. no way I'm gonna look like a local I'm like six times the size of a local <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's okay, but you know, every precaution you can take. Yeah, this is a Taoist temple over here. Should we show them? Yeah. Let's go around to the other side. Okay. So the first temple we saw was a Buddhist temple and this one is a Taoist temple. Oh. Taoist, Taoist. Yeah. It's a palace temple. It looks like a palace.
massage. <rire> That sounds good. look nice. Lifestyles of the rich and famous over there. There's no horn. Well, what the heck? Yeah, there is. Oh, you got it? Okay, that was hard. It's a used horn. be a great photo spot if you were to, but we'll get one. Ninbin and we're going to stop at the tour company to see uh, if they have Charlie's hat. The um, place that we took the limousine into town hall. This is uh, kind of crazy driving in the city. It's not as busy as Illinois, but it's, it's a little busy. You're getting the hang of it really fast though. Yeah. My butt hurts though. Mine too. <laughs> Well, they didn't have his hat, but we're stopping at this park. Ooh. Fancy. Oh, sin chao. Hello, puppy. Oh. Are you a good puppy? Sin chao. <laughs> oh. Never seen somebody like me, huh? Oh. Oh, yeah, we can put the helmets inside, huh? Yeah. Alright. Make sure we don't. Okay. 
think these are still in use? Wow. There's a bicycle in this pond. We parked over there and we're just checking this area out. Here's a close look at uh, the style of brooms we see a lot over here in Vietnam. It looks like it's a bamboo or yeah, it looks like it's bamboo with the dry leaves dried up and then tied together. Hmm, interesting. It's a beautiful park. Yeah. Yeah, we're in the big city of Ninbin. They didn't have Charlie's hat. But that's okay, I stole his new green one. And he, where's my other one? Because my other one is adjustable and fits better. And I kind of like the green one. It's like a, a rock slide. <laughs> <laughs> There's two of them here. <laughs> Interesting. It uh, looks like it was a beautiful place. I mean, it still is a beautiful place, but it looks like it was even more beautiful back in its heyday, whenever that would have been. Um, just green everywhere, kind of right in the middle of the city. All different kinds of trees. And that's either a museum or a school. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I think on Google it says there's a museum around here, but it's closed because it's Sunday. Those are giant clovers. Looks like this might have been uh, some greenhouses at one point. Maybe a caretaker's shack. But like, this is just a, a beautiful park and almost nobody's here. There's like very few people at this park. Gosh, look at these, look at these bendy trees here. Yeah, somebody spent a lot of time uh, bending those into shape, I'm sure. This still has got to be the funnest thing that, to do is just explore areas. Like, not even do the touristy stuff. Um, while that's beautiful itself, it, this park is amazing. And it's nice and quiet too. You can still hear a little bit of the city in the background, but this is a good like, break from all the hustle and bustle of the horns and 
motorbikes and such. This looks like a place where the, the old men would come and play some Chinese chess. Yeah. Yeah. This park is huge too. Like there had to be something here too. Right in the that centerpiece because there's a walkway to it. And some nice tile on the sides. Oh yeah. Had electricity to it and possibly plumbing. So it could have been another fountain here. And then there's the framework for something else over there. And a power box. So interesting. And in the center of it all, this amazing limestone. There was a fountain as well. So it's an amazing limestone fountain here. This used to be a fountain. Beautiful. It is muggy. Oh yeah. So what was it like? Driving a motorcycle in Vietnam for the first time. Um, a little stressful to be honest, uh, but it was fun. It's beautiful. Just exploring the whole area. It's amazing. You did an awesome job. Thanks. And I think I was killing it back there. Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah, I you, was leaning into those turns and... <laughs> you, you didn't make me wobble once, so... <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> I was worried about that. Yeah. So we picked up these uh, banh mi's that are like pre-packaged. They're like 40 cents. Um, should we crack into these? Yeah. It says banh mi tits. Which I think is duck? No, duck is bit. Oh, bit. Yeah. yeah. So it must be... Oh, there's a picture of a chicken. Yeah. I think it so might I... just be meat in general. But chicken's da. I yeah. don't know. Yeah. We'll see. Alright, they are gigantic. <laughs> just like a little sandwich. Come with egg on them. Oh, okay. It looks like it's egg yolk. Looks like egg yolk and shredded cheese. It does. But I'm sure that's like shredded chicken. Probably like a chicken floss. Is it fomai? I cheese? didn't see fomai. Yeah, no, I think it's just like uh, egg sauce and chicken. I mean, I'll, to be honest, that does not look very appetizing. Mm -mm. It's really dry. Yeah, I'm sure it is. But that's the first bite. You know, honestly, the bread itself is not that dry. It's just dry eating it because it's a lot of bread. Mm -hmm. And it tastes like a Hawaiian roll. It does. Well, driving around today kind of gave us an idea, like what to, what we want to 
drive to if we want to rent the bike for another day. It was $4 to rent the bike for the entire day today. We just bring it up back by the end of the night. We didn't even have to do any paperwork or anything. Like, we're just like, hey, can we take the bikes? And they're like, yep. Here's and the key. Here's the key. <laughs> have you ridden a bike, driven a bike before? And That was the only prerequisite. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't think they'd care if I didn't. Yeah. And we, we had bikes a long time ago. Yeah. Um, but, we had a lot of bikes a long time yeah, ago. Yeah, but we're both out of practice, so. Yeah. Um, check engine lights on, on the bike. Um, was on when we got it. It's got 46,000 kilometers on it already. And uh, the speedometer doesn't work. But it still, still runs and drives. The fuel gauge works, which is good. The fuel gauge does work, because a lot of them don't have a fuel gauge. And we did pick up international driver's licenses, but I don't know. We don't have a motorcycle endorsement, and we heard they don't work in Vietnam. Like, AAA says they do, but everywhere else says they don't. So we're winging it. We've seen maybe two cops total. I can outrun them. So it had a little bit of spice to it. Um, mm -hmm. It didn't taste or smell bad for being an egg bummy. It wasn't really that bad for something that you can take with you. Yeah. For the price? Yeah. Sorry. We did get something else. Oh, yes. Some bap got zot bo. Nice try. <laughs> it looks like it's sweet buttered corn flavored. Flavored something. <sighs> oh, I guess I should show you guys. What kind of sucked today is the uh, we were gonna use the GoPros to film on the bikes, and the Go neither GoPro was working. Yeah, hopefully it's just the batteries. Yeah. So, what, what wow. kind of shape are these? Are they like little squid shapes? I don't know if they're any shape. They're weird. Um, they taste like sweet buttered corn. They're not bad. Yeah. Like it's an actual corn flavor. They're not what I expected. Yeah. They kind of have the texture of um, a cross between the crunchy Cheetos and the puff Cheetos. Yeah. They're not crunchy, but they have that texture. If that makes sense. I like them. I would get those again. Yeah. They taste like corn. Mm-hmm. Well, that was fun. Well, that was fun. Thank you for liking and subscribing and all the things you do. Thanks for even watching. Yeah. We appreciate it. <laughs> and stay tuned for more Vietnam adventures, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye now. Bye now. It's still here? Oh, hey. You want some? And scene. 
it's been cut. I got one.